Hey, Sean here from speedqbv.com. So I've done walkthrough solves in the past. I'm going to do a couple right now. I'm going to do actually three of them. Two of them I have videos on. So I'll show the video of the solve and then how I solved it. Uh, two of them were with a GAN SM and one of them was with the Zanchi 2017. Two of them were nine second solves. One of them was a 10 second solve. The two nine second ones had a PLL skip and I think it was like a soon OLL case. So I'm gonna go through mistakes, things that I could have done differently, also things that I feel like I did well, but I'll go through that so you can see how that solve worked. So let's go check those out now. Okay, so here's this first solve that I did. Now, all three of these solves, I believe were a white cross. I, I do white cross probably about 40% of the time at this point, um, because if I can't find anything good on any other ones, I kind of default to that. It's probably not the best thing to do, but it works. Actually, no, this was this was a yellow cross, I believe. Yes, it was a yellow cross. Okay, so white or yellow, but um, I do solve blue, red, green, orange as well. It's My times are about the same, but it's just happened to be these few solves. So, okay. So first thing I did for the cross, these two are already in place. They're not, of course, in the right spot, but they're already in the right spot right there and there. And then I'm gonna need to put red down and green down, which is pretty straightforward. Now, before I do that, I've got these two pieces, which I completely missed. I did not see that at all, but what I did see was this orange and green and orange and green. I don't know why I missed that. I think I was just too excited about that. And so I could already tell that these are going to be an easy insertion right here. Normally, I would put this cross in like this, this, like that, because that'll be much more efficient with doing the right hand. But because I know I was going to insert these, I wanted to have that with my right hand. So I did this with those in the front. So what I did was with these in the front, I did F prime, D, F2, D prime. And then that gave me my first pair I already had planned out to insert like that. And then the next pair I saw was this blue and orange. And so that I separated, rotate, and then insert. And then the next pair I saw was this red and blue. And so I, was that the first one? No, it was the red and green. So I separated those. I rotated again and I inserted in the back. And then I saw that red and blue, and that I was able to insert there. From here, it was a soon case, and then U2. So two things I could have done differently. Let me go through that once more. So one thing I could have done is preserved that pair, definitely. I could have done something on white because there's a pair right there. And so I completely missed that, which that's a little bit of a bummer because that probably could have saved some stuff I was able to insert that somewhere or just preserve it. I actually don't know how I could preserve it, but anyways, after that, there's different ways I could have solved this, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The other thing that was sort of the big one that could have saved time is doing soon in the back. So what's kind of difficult with that though is I actually have to know how to solve soon in the back comfortably. My, it's not in my muscle memory, so I felt like it'd be faster to do a U2 soon and then I have a U2 for the last AUF. But if I did, let's say that, it would have gone right to a solve state without any AUF. So that's a, a one mistake that I could have definitely fixed and I should be working on. So this next one I actually did with the Zanchi 2017, which I do need to do a review of. It's been a little bit since I've had this, so I do want to talk about it. But this one, let's go through the scramble first. <laughs> okay, so what I already saw was that I can easily put these in by doing a D prime and then R prime F to insert those and then another D prime. This blue and edge piece is going to be right there and I can see the corner right there is not going to be altered. And so I already have planned to do, where I'm going to do a U prime and then a sledgehammer and then I'll be able to insert it. So I'll show you that right now. So what I did was first that and finish that up and then move that there, sledgehammer, and then insert, which set up this green and red, which I was able to insert, 
which then set up these ones and these ones. So first thing I did was this blue. And then from here, I saw that it was going to kind of line things up. So here's a big mistake I made. I first jumped to there, which then I realized I need to jump again. So if I stayed where I was, I could have just done this from the back, but I had my hand moved and I did it from the front. And then I had a soon case like that. So the big mistake was that unnecessary jump I just did. So let's go through this final one. Okay, so looking at this, now there's a lot of white pieces down here, but that they're not all correct. So it doesn't look, like from here it looks like it's really nice, but you've got these two pieces here, that's orange, and this is blue. So it's actually gonna be pretty nice to put these in, it's just gonna be two gen, I'm just gonna need to do R moves and D moves. And because I know that nothing in this whole block is gonna be affected, I can already see green and red, and green and red, and those are already kind of nicely set up. So what I'm going to do is I've already planned how I'm gonna insert these back here. So I do that for the cross and insert those pieces. And then from here, that's where I have to start looking ahead. And I see this blue and red, blue and red, pair that up, insert it in the back. Green and orange, and I'll separate those and insert those. And then blue and orange, I turn the puzzle. Now, here's something that someone else pointed out. They said I could have done this with the left hand. If I do, it would have ended up with a G permutation. So I did a U move and then solved that, which gave me an A perm, but I didn't recognize it right away. This was kind of my slow recognition of that. And then I solved it and then did that. So it was a good solve. It was over five turns per second, which is pretty solid for me. Um, and there were some pauses. Um, especially on that A permutation. But other than that, I was pretty happy with the way the solve actually went. So thank you very much. Those are three walkthrough solves. You can see kind of how I would solve the puzzle doing CFOP. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.